Well, I'm going to start you off by showing you images here, and we're going to continue with the um, uh, Senfig Studio. But these are the images I'm going to be using in my uh, next animation here. Here's a long image. This is going to be a background. And here are some of the other images you can look at in the file here. Here's the goldfish, a fish going left, a fish going right. Here's what I, one of my is called perfect fish, and some plants in the background. And we're going to be using them, and they're already loaded into um, Synfig Studio. Here's Synfig Studio loaded, and you see here the perfect fish, the plant, and the goldfish, the different the different fish that I'm going to be the different things I'm going to be using in this scene. As you click on the image, since I click on the image here, that's the background. That's that whole big background, and it doesn't appear that there's a way to turn these off. This doesn't. Well, I shouldn't say that. I guess it does turn them off. It does turn them off. Here's the one I want to look at. That's the background. Now, what I have done is I started that background. This control here puts it at the very beginning, right here. This is the starting point I have for the background. Now, as you move it down, you'll see the image move across. That's so the background will be moving across. And at the very end, you see where it is. And we can run that and watch just that background go across. That's the background of everything. And if you saw the other video, you realize that's all set with this little figure right up in here. That sets the height and everything else about it. So let's go back to the beginning again and let's put the perfect fish in. Now if we take that and turn that background off and we run it, we see the fish travel across the screen. And we'll back it right back up here. We'll stop it and back it up to the beginning. And this is the fish right now that's uh, in the original position on the side. And you saw it travel across. Now, the order that they are in here is the order you see them in. If you see the background is here, and the fish is in front of the background. And as I run it, you see the fish swim across the background. Now, it's not going the same speed. It might look like it is, but in actuality, it's not going the same speed. I can change it a little bit if I want. If I take this fish here, I can move it and say, okay, let's start him up here a little bit closer. And at the very end, let's have it a little bit here. That'll move it a little bit faster. I don't want it to go the same speed as the background because that just loses everything then. Now you see the background's going a little bit faster than the fish is. Now I can put the goldfish in there and back it up to the beginning again. And now you see the goldfish come in and go across. And it's in front. See, it's in front of the perfect fish. Now if I want to put it behind it, all I have to do here is take it here and slide it down one. And now when we rewind it, it will be behind the other fish. So you layer them by the order that they're in right here. Now this swim behind that fish. Now we'll include another layer, that fish right there. Now I've put it on a little bit of an angle. So if we put it back to the beginning, start it off, and you see it's not going the same speed. It's a little bit different speed, and it's actually going up right now. Now I can take the plants and put it in front. I can stop it, back it up, put the plants in it. 
and there are the plants and the plants are going to move too and again the speed's different I'm gonna put this top fish in also I'll put them all in here at once so this time when I run it you can see the complete animation take place here's these plants moving towards the right the background moving towards the left that fish is not moving the same speed as the others and I, I could change that probably a little bit better See, that's the one that's right on top let's see if we can get that to move quicker if I started here And now you see the speed is different. It's going to wind up in the same in position, but the speed is different. And it's on top of where the plants are. See, the plants are in the background there. And this is the animation right here. I can take this now, and I can render it. We're going to render it as a fish video one. The target is an FFmpeg, a 1280 by 720. It's going to run for about 320, 320 frames. And that's only about uh, 30 frames a second. Uh, 24 frames a second, that's not very long. but. Uh, there's a 24 second frames a second and it's going to run off 320 frames and at this point we can render this we'll go back to image and render and it's making a video right now now we can back up here open up the folder we'll take a look at the last thing that was made and here's our fish video. And it's bigger than that whole screen is. We'll pick it up so it sits inside of our monitor area here and play it again. There it is. Same program, same animation, just run a little more in depth. And if you notice, as I click back through here, fish aren't going at the same speed. They're going different speeds. They're in different layers. The final big fish on top is on top of the grass that's moving. The grass is moving to the right, the background to the left, and it's a movie. I hope everybody enjoyed this. And I hope you learned a little bit about running this uh, program. It's a very, very interesting and fun program to learn. And it doesn't take long. I never looked at this program until this morning, and I got it to come out with a pretty decent result. And it is a still a lot more to do, a lot, lot more. I mean, this is a, is a uh, I'm still playing with it right now. Hey. Thank you. If you all enjoy this video, subscribe, and uh, if you enjoy this, take a look at some more of my videos. Thank you.